Angela Tucker right. landline bite size Halloween. I got two things, one in the beginning and one in the end. One, would people recognize what a landline is and what a rotary phone is? And second, don't mess with grandma's stuff. How was the whole idea coming about in developing this movie? Where did it come from? Well, um, so when I was you know, invited to pitch for this, I, was, I don't normally do horror. So I had to think about what are things that have scared me as a child. So I kind of just like made a list of like random moments I had where I was scared as a child. And um, one was we had a rotary phone and I wrapped myself <laughs> around <laughs> up in the rotary phone and couldn't get myself out. And, um, and I was like, get me out of the phone, right? <laughs> so, uh, so I don't know, that visual was kind of uh, funny to me and I wanted to do something that was a little more humorous. Mm -hmm. So that was the image that came to me. And then I thought, oh, what if there was like a phone that killed people? Um, and then, you know, then you get into why would that happen? You have to come up with the whole like story world and mm -hmm. like, what if, you know, this person, they're kind of unresolved stuff um, and they're going through the phone. So uh, that was sort of the landline idea. And then the 80s, piece of it was I just really wanted to do something that was like 80s but urban 80s mm -hmm. kind of coming to America mm -hmm. 80s so uh that was those were the two ideas that kind of came together yeah this is how I know you're around my age because when a lot of kids did that because <laughs> I remember <laughs> I did that once <laughs> and it's a perfect uh, it's a perfect idea for a horror film to be honest because mm -hmm. I mean we've all had that fear of getting tangled in that cord <laughs> it's something that you wish kids nowadays would be able to experience but yeah. it's not something that <laughs> it was such a great short film that I wanted to see more did you what did you develop a longer treatment or was it something that how or was it something that you we have to hit this we got to develop it at this amount of time what was the process in that well you know, I did develop it as a short, but as we were working on it, I do have kind of aspirations to make a kind of a longer piece. Mm -hmm. um, but it really, it, it came from this original idea of how do we do this in two minutes mm -hmm. uh, and really kind of challenging ourselves to do that uh, in a way that, you know, made, made sense story-wise, made sense budget-wise, those kinds of things. So, but I hope to, uh, develop it into something longer and that's the one thing that I'm really impressed with with every director that's has done something on this bite size Halloween you've really been able to tell stories in such a concise way mm -hmm. that they still make sense and they leave you wanting more how mm -hmm. hard is it to develop it and then to have to cut it down into such a short amount of time Oh, I mean, it's challenging. You know, I had a great producing team, um, Moira Griffin and Marshall Tyler. And so we really kind of, I had the idea and wrote it and they gave me a lot of great notes to kind of tighten it and tighten it. And then the, um, the Fox folks also gave a lot of good notes and it really just comes into when you're writing scenes. And this is kind of looks like screenwriting 101, right? It's like enter late, leave early. It's, yeah. but it's enter late, leave early to the next level, you know? Yeah. What is like the most basic amount of information that people can have so that they understand what's going on mm -hmm. and try to have as many things happen visually as possible. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I agree with you because I think nowadays with the way people's intention spans have been, it's like perfect for mobile phones, perfect on the go. And you really get a full story out of it. And that's something that I really love about these is that, it really does cater to a lot of audiences. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, you know, I've watched so many of them myself, like when they came out and there's so, I didn't know there were going to be so many. So I've just been, it's been interesting too, as a filmmaker to see how other people have dealt with the kind of um, parameters that we were given. And, and there's so many different kinds of stories, which is really interesting. Yeah. Like I've talked to so many directors about their first horror film mm -hmm. and why they went into the horror genre and why they wanted to try it. What was the reason you wanted to go into it and try and put your hand on the hand in the, in the sandbox? Because horror seems to be able to be a little bit more creative into what you could, how you could push the boundaries of things. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I actually work a lot in documentary. So mm -hmm. this was an interesting, uh, completely different way to work. 
but it, the idea is the same. It's I still had to come from me, like a, something specific that was real. Um, working that way, um, but I, I, I think also humor just it really went back to wanting to make something that was funny in this genre. Uh, was it possible? Could it be satisfying? Um, and working with such great actors. I also kind of wanted the opportunity to um, meet new actors. It's always great every time you make something, you get to meet all these great people. Um, my producers are based in Los Angeles. I live in New Orleans. It was really great to, we went, to, we shot it in Los Angeles. And so it was also kind of an opportunity to make something with like an LA crew. Um, so it just, it allowed me to stretch myself in so many ways. I mean, it's yeah. like horror as a genre, but just in so many different ways as well. Exactly. So what kind of advice would you give uh, if we have a, someone who's in high school, in elementary mm -hmm. school, who's watching this today, what kind of advice would you give them who, who want to be the next you, who want to be the next mm -hmm. short film director, documentary director, director in general? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I would say first, it's all about the idea. Just really hone your idea uh, and learn craft, understand how to storytelling. I think that's where it begins. And don't get too precious about your work. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I think a lot of people get really caught up in, I have this like one story that I want to tell. I want it to be perfect. And if it's not perfect, I'm not going to make it. It's like, you're going to make a lot of crap before you make something that's good. So just get through the crap part. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get through the crap part, you'll be able to make good things. But a lot of people, um, when they get, when they're in that, oh, this isn't what I want it to be, they don't keep making things. But you just have to keep, keep making things and then your craft will elevate. And, and then, you know, and then that's when more and more opportunities come about. Um, like this was just such a unique opportunity. And I don't, I don't know if I would have made something like this if I wasn't able to kind of pitch for this and um and it allowed me such a great opportunity yeah and i think that's a really great way of putting it because of the way technology is now it really gives mm -hmm. people it opens up a lot for younger pe younger people to be to try and take their hand into this type of genre and this type of business and i think that's mm -hmm. and hopefully we see more diversity being a latino oh yeah i want to see more diversity out there giving everybody a shot to tell their stories um last question mm -hmm. what do you have where can, what do you have coming up next where can we see uh what are you working on yeah well you can uh learn all about me and my work on tuckergirlgurl.com um i am working on a fiction feature that i'm going to shoot in the spring and uh, i have another feature length documentary that i'm working on as well so things are cooking uh yeah. slowed down a little bit because of the pandemic but now folks are we're kind of gearing back up for production which is nice very cool very cool because we're going to keep an eye on you because i like the yeah. way this was shot i love the, the story in it i want to see if you actually do extend it and you do get the yeah yeah i mean because I, I think it's a good yeah. premise yeah no i'm 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 want to explore that as well so uh we'll see about that Great. Well, thank you so much for stopping with us. I really appreciate it. And everybody who's watching, if you haven't yet, tomorrow is Halloween. Bite Size Halloween, watch Landline and all the other great short films on Hulu and on Hulu on YouTube. Thank you so much, Angela, for stopping with us. Thank you.